Hello folks, I'm Billis 5 k and I'm going to be doing a beer review of Shiner Wild Hair, Wild Hair Pale Ale. That's kind of hard to say, it doesn't roll out right off the tongue. Hopefully it'll roll right off the tongue the other way, into my belly, to get me hammered drunk. Let's see how smoky it gets. Got it. It's got a good hoppy smell to it. Uh, it's not as hoppy as I would like it to be as a pale ale, but it, you know, at least Shiner's trying. They're trying. They're trying to stay up there with the uh, the craft brews, if you will. I love to sniff them hard. So this is Shiner Wild Hair Pale Ale. Uh, let's get a little pour going there. I learned uh, from my earlier video that apparently you don't want to overflow the beer and waste half of it. So. We'll just give a little extra head there. Just so you see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Did you look at that? Did you look at that? <laughs> the new beer that is kind of old. From the first uh, bite, uh, it's a little strong, strongy. Strongy is the term. Boy, um, not an IPA. I wouldn't call it an IPA. I would call it more of like a buck. Like, well, it's Shiner, so they're going to make all the beers a little bit bucky. Bucky is the term. So let's, uh, let's down the hatch, this son of a bee, right? Cheers, world. Cheers, internet world. Down the hatch, down the hatch. Tip your drink up till there's nothing in your cup. Down the hatch. It's good. I like it. Um, I would definitely drink more of these. I don't understand the the bunny rabbit, the wild hare. Didn't taste any wild bunnies in it. Shiner. That was the way we were going for. Oh. Not as good out of the bottle. Always want to drink beers out of a glass. Bye.